Some users of DSM seem to be having trouble getting their models uh, saved as a DXF 3D file. So to hopefully help them, here's a video showing how to do it. Okay, the first thing we're going to need is some sort of 3D model to work with. So we're in Design Spark Mechanical now. Control N for a new design. V for vertical. C to draw a circle. And we'll make it 100 diameter. We'll have another concentric one at 70. And then P for pull. Select the middle circle and type 10 for a thickness. Return. Select the annulus and type 8. Return. So now we've got that. Okay, now we'll see for circle. Select that face. We don't have to square it, but we'll still draw a circle. We'll make that oh, 50. Uh, P for pull. We'll pull that in a hole. C for circle again. We'll select that face. We'll make it square up. We'll put a circle around here somewhere. And when you, I'm going, to, I'm going to put eight of them around here, so I need to move and put this on the center line. Now we'll find we can't do it. That's because of the spigots getting in the way. So, if we, however, if we press the alt, alternate key, we can move through it, and it'll go on. So I have the alternate key pressed there to get that across past the spigot. So now we can select create patterns over here and move this around. When we get into the quadrant ping, we'll get a count of eight. And that's what we want. And P for pull. Now I suppose I could have put one hole in here and then made eight of them. Saves us going through this selecting all these with the control key pressed but this is a little bit more long-winded but it still works and then drag right I'm going to call that the front face now to put a feature on the the back face uh, I'm going to use Polygon tool, we'll select that face, square it up, and over here it's got use internal radius. I want to use the external radius, so I'll deselect that. And we'll click and drag, so I'm using the external radius. And I'm going to tab through to the side, number of sides, up right up at the top there, sides is 6, so I'm going to select 8, tab, now I've got 8, and the corners are pointing to the holes, which is quite incidental actually, so we'll tab P for pull, and we'll pull that into a sort of a recess. An octagonal recess there. We've got the um, surface there which we don't need so we'll delete that. So this is our 3D object we're going to use. And we'll save this first of all as an RS dock and we'll save it in uh, view much problems uh, flange and 
then we will save it as now we'll go down the bottom here we've got RS dock there for that one so we are going to select AutoCAD DXF and save it as flange again this time it will be flange.dxf so let's have a look and there we see it flange dxf now to prove this works as a 3d model i'm going to open up my aspire trial I'm going to open aspire trial edition 10 Create new file, model, that we need to get rid of this, do you believe, right, model, there we go, import components stroke 3D model, it's gone to Tutorials, Viewers Probs, Flange, there we go, it's showing it as, uh, at an angle to the material, that's probably because of the way I've saved it in Design Spark Mechanical. So here apparently we can move the zero plane and move it through the zero plane. But I've got the the angle of the component wrong. You can use all sorts of other orientations here apparently. I've only been using this for half a day so I don't really know much about it. Anyway, there it is. And it seems to have made a decent job of the model. And no doubt G-code can be made with that somehow. So if I ever get to know how that is done in Aspire, no doubt there will be a video from me about it. Anyway, I hope that's been of interest and use to somebody. Bye for now. Bye.